Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make the angle lap block using on shape. So if we take a look at the shape here, um, we'll notice that it is 6 inches long by 3 inches wide by 2 inches tall. And I'm going to draw this in the top view. So I'm going to be drawing this top surface all the way across, 6 inches across here and 3 inches here. And I'm going to be starting in this corner right here where my red dot is. That's where I'll be starting at the origin. I'll do a secondary sketch on the top surface in order to knock out this notch that will drop down another inch, and it is two inches wide. So I have gone to create a new document, and I have named it Angle Lap Block. I'm going to hit OK. And now that I'm in my workspace here, I'm going to start a new sketch in the top view. And now I will look down on the top by selecting top on my view cube. Starting off with the line tool, going to my origin. I'm going to start here, click once to start, second time to end, one inch. I'm going to travel upward for two inches. I'm going to head in this direction here for a distance of five inches. I'm going to go up for one inch, head back over to my origin, lines up, click here, and one more time in the origin. I'm going to change my camera angle back to isometric, and I'm going to extrude this at a distance of two inches. Hit the green check mark. Now the next thing I want to do is start a secondary sketch on the very top surface of this first shape. So I'm going to make sure it's highlighted. Click on there. Uh, I can now grab my rectangle tool. Starting in this corner, I'm going to draw a rectangle up and to the left, and I'm going to make it two inches by one inch. And now I'm going to grab my extrude tool, and instead of remove or adding, I want to remove from it one inch. Hit the green check mark, and there's your angle lap block.